Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Vaporum Lockdown. In the last video, we had survived the horrors of the construction bay, or at least what we were able to access so far, and we made it to the submarine, where Ron had been located earlier. We found that the submarine needs a needs some repairs to its hull. It needs some fumium filled into its tank. It needs a new propeller. And we also need food to get us to the islands. We then made our way to the hydroponics, and we'll probably, I guess, find the food we want here, with the other sections of the Arx Vaporum locked off for us, from us at the moment. We also went to the Fumium compound, like some sort of experimental floor, where we discovered that everything in there is optional and consists of some rather difficult puzzles. So, we'll probably be trying that as we find more Fumium keys to unlock those doors upstairs. And with that said, looking at what I see in front of us, I'm always remembering how creepy this area is. Or rather, just being in the Ark's Vaporum itself. They did such a wonderful job making this scary. Oh, hello. I didn't even notice this before. A note. What the heck? Maybe we should read this one. I'm afraid. The hydroponics is still filled with gas. I was afraid it would spread and cut my way off completely. And the guys I had sent up were nowhere in sight. They were taking too long. I couldn't wait anymore. I went to the elevator. Just a welder drone attacked me. I managed to escape just barely into the ducts. My arm is bleeding. I'm afraid. Afraid of every mechanical sound I hear. What if it's, if it's another crazed automaton? I don't know what to do. Rita Catley, hydroponics supervisor. It probably was another crazed automaton. Oh. <laughs> when I see twisty passages like this, I can't help but think that we're going to need to do some kiting through them. And how miserable I am at the kiting it. Or I have been miserable at it so far in Vaporum. Oh! That's interesting. I thought these were wires that we were seeing on the ground. I Like, plastic wiring or tubing filled with fumium. But this seems to be some sort of fumium-enriched plant. These are either vines, creepers, or roots. Probably vines, Tim, because they have leaves on the outs um, growing at regular intervals out of it. At the end of the last episode, we also had read about a new insect type that they had been doing experiments on. One that we did not run into on the original Vaporum game. Uh, a type that is impervious to all damage. It cannot be harmed in any way. That might be it, actually. I have not yet searched for secrets off screen, so assuming that we have a bunch of running around to do, we'll probably do that <laughs> as I'm, I'm sorry, I'm babbling, I'm, my mind's not uh, comprehending what I'm, trying to, what I'm trying to say. I'm going to assume we'll have a bit of combat up ahead of us, and so while we're waiting for our tech to recharge, I can look for secrets off screen. I need to know if this is the invincible bug. It is. I don't think I can kill this thing. That didn't even scratch it. It is immune to all damage, gadget damage included. That thing's probably smart enough to 
come and find the way to get to me over here. What is this? Gadget damage upgrade. When consumed, permanently increases your gadget damage by 5%. Eight bullets and a new recording. Laura suggests using lifers, the worst criminals and convicts from the islands, as test subjects in experimental teleportation runs. The argument is simple. They are of no use, they will never get out of prison, and many of them are on death row anyway. So why not use them for something that's beneficial for the rest of society? From a purely logical standpoint, yes, maybe. But still, they're human beings, not lab rats. It's just wrong. Everybody seems to disagree with her, apart from maybe that heartless Harlan. Even director Marcus Reich strictly condemned the idea at today's meeting. I don't think I've ever been this split. The human in me is repulsed by the very thought, but the scientific soul can see the raw truth. Without human subjects, we will never make any real progress. We will never be able to make teleportation safe for everyday use, and we will never truly wield the power of tomorrow. <sighs> Has Laura gone completely nuts? Or is she the only one to see what needs to be done and bold enough to push the boundaries? Okay. I wish the human side in me had won back then. This whole atrocity is also of my doing. I didn't want to step forward or anything of the sort while she was talking. Because I, I might want to hear what's going on. Oh! <coughs> this is the other side we need to be at. <coughs> oh, Tim! Nice, I can use the pit. Mm. Tim, that's just bullets, you don't need that. I heard it spit and was unable to move away fast enough. I wonder if we can trap it in the pit. I hate you so much. Cuz you're going to get you're going to stop me from reaching that pit. It did. The cre that the creatures behind us. We're gonna move away. I don't want to get pinned by it and this creature, but I think this is almost dead. Okay, so we can kill it. We can kill it. We just have to drop it into pits to do so. It wasn't so bad overall at the end, in the end. So I'm going to let my Fumium recharge everyone, and I'm going to walk around and explore all the areas we've been in so far and see if I can find a secret. I'll be back. Not a secret, everyone, but there's a, there's a note here and an energy cell. Oh, but I haven't been down here yet. Okay, sorry. I, I thought this was a, a place I had previously been. Okay, well we're just gonna we're gonna hold on to that note until later. And our energy's recharged, so I only searched this little room. That was it. Let's let's keep let's keep going. That was an auto-save. That looks like an elevator of some 
sort? No, no, no tracks there. Hello. It's like someone got stuck in there. I can see the corrosive bile. This is new. I really don't like our accuracy. <laughs> we don't like missing the creature more than once per per encounter. Spitters. Wonder what the hell happened to them. Submarine elevator key to the workshop. An integrity upgrade, giving us another 5% max integrity. Acid effect, which we already know about. What's plus by acid targets healing and repairing capabilities are greatly reduced. Okay, we knew that already. Let's. Yes. So that's all that did was open this up. But there's nothing in here that I'm interested in. And no secret from what I can tell. I thought for some reason that would make the acid go away. Democratic conduct is far from what the Bureau's been expecting of me. On the other hand, the results are undeniable. They have even moved the radio wave research from the islands to the arcs due to how much faster we progress here in every area. In two years, our scientists have made giant leaps, and today we have working radio prototypes. Soon we'll be installing the wonder all around the tower. Not to mention the teleportation technology solely developed here in the tower. A thing that could only live on the pages of weird fiction until recently. Now a physical reality available at the press of a button. Practical applications of Fumium speeds up everything from mundane tasks to complex experiments and research projects. I just fear that we are picking up too much steam, hurtling ahead like a runaway train nobody will be able to stop. I need a key. Okay, looks like everything that we have done in this area was leading us toward that workshop key. Um, unless there's something down this way. Nope, can't go that way. All right, everyone. So I'm going to check what we've been through so far for secrets, and then I'll be back. Give me a few seconds. Okay, everyone. There's nothing from what I can... Well, I found nothing. <laughs> At least searched all the rooms, searched all the passages. So we go back to the elevator. And see what progress we can make in a different area. Actually, that was a submarine key, if I recall correctly, right? Yeah, submarine elevator key. But the submarine itself is not so far away from the main elevator. Yeah. <laughs> 
I am immediately nervous when I enter this giant room. Especially after getting a key to some place different, because I am suspicious that we're going to encounter some new enemy was waiting for us down here. I haven't searched all of these areas. Oh, there was no reason to. We found all the secrets already on the construction bay floor, so we don't even need to mark keep these marked any longer. Sorry, I, I might as well do some map cleanup while I'm here. Yeah, so you can see what I do. I, I inspect everything in a room and probably all connecting hallways and then I'll mark that room as completely searched. Doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I mean, could mean I just didn't find the things I was looking for. Okay. That's how it works. Gotcha. I remember Marcus having to power on a foundry. We needed to make some sort of special gear to do so as well. The foundry. I could probably make a propeller here. Perhaps it's still functioning. I need two propeller molds. And it looks like it also needs to be powered. I need a fumium ingot in here. Oh, I always thought they pronounced uh, ignits, not ingots. I suppose that would make me wrong then, Tim. I need a key. Rusty key. All right, well, there's only one way to go, so we'll take this way. I'm remembering a maze of gun turrets for some reason, on the floor that Marcus had to navigate. All right, we've leveled everyone. So this will be level six. We're immediately going to put this level into the Fumium conversion. So we'll have now unlocked a reallocator. It enhances the efficiency of Fumium gathering from destroyed enemies and Fumium capacitors, and causes you to gain a portion of damage taken as energy. Furthermore, this module allows to install one more gadget. Done. Alright, now we have a plus 13% to total in Fumium intake. And that extra spot. I kind of want to keep it with like damage based things. So let's put let's put the fire upgrade here. An energy cell. And actually is this, is this an AoE? Basic acid nodule. Creates an acid pool around you, doing continuous indirect elemental damage and applying an acid effect to enemies in it. We'll use this. Ooh. Rescue coming. Another energy uh, tech cell? Energy cell. Two workshops smeltery, which we can't access. We need a different key for that. I do like that these levels are, like, you have to go back and forth to them. I like that very much. Although, there is, I suppose, a good amount of nothingness when you had to double back through an entire level. I still like this feeling. It it gives the arcs a lived-in feeling. I'm not so worried about one of you. a 
pit there, Tim. Mental note. Suspicious. Bag of sus. Today, I took part in the weirdest meeting of my life. So, last week, Laura's lab sent us new samples to try in the alloying process. By the way, they're like hyperactive kitties, all overexcited about everything fumium, expecting us to forge a legendary royalist slang sword or something. What a waste of words, really. So, I put the samples away and finished my shift a little early. You don't want to let a lady wait, you know what I'm saying? Cynthia. Curves like that are hard to find around. Turns out, in all that excitement, I put the sample box quite near the blast furnace. Not exactly the best place to store some blue piss worth a fortune, let me tell you. Next morning, out of habit, or maybe it was the terrible hangover, I fanned the flame without thinking twice. And, yeah, you guessed it. The stuff melted to a pulp. Laura learned of it, called me up. Absolutely furious, going ape crazy about it. As if the whole world was gonna collapse because of some stupid vials that had gone to waste. You know me, I don't scare easily. Damn, she gave me the creeps. The hair on the back of my head all standing up. She's not quite right. Avoid her if you can, Dwayne. With all these upgrades we have to our tech recovery, I will now start using them even to, f to help speed up fighting a single enemy. You can see already that we're recharging quite a bit. But then again, these are the basic gadgets. We'll find, I think, uh, advanced and then expert ones. There's There were three upgrades to every single gadget or to most gadgets. Some couldn't be upgraded because it wouldn't make sense for them to, uh, to do that in the original Vaporum. A combat fuse. We'll put that to good use. While I'm here, let's look for anything that looks like a secret in this little dead end. Nothing there on that wall. Nothing on those. Nothing there that I see either. I hear a teleporter. And I simply don't like... I don't like seeing a pressure plate directly in front of me <laughs> when I approach a room. Let's double back and see what was down this passage before I commit to exploring a room and not being able to leave. Nothing behind that. Nothing behind that one. That's a pit. Don't fall down it, Tim. These None of these look movable. If they have the metal bands on them, I don't think you can shift those crates. Oh, and we can't go this way. This area is blocked off. Let's get that on the map at least. All right. Mark seems to be darker <laughs> for Ellie than it was for Marcus. All right, here we go. There's a pit there, Tim. You don't want to fall down that.
I'm not sure where the pit is. <laughs> Why does he hesitate? I'm like, oh, where's the pit again? I'm about to walk into it. That doesn't actually bring us anywhere. Okay. So... So I block. But there's no... Okay, that doesn't really seem to do anything. That switch. And that was a teleporter Tim you stepped into. Oh! Congratulations, Tim. You, you blocked it. Congratulations. <laughs> also died. Alright, let's see. Opens that. So I definitely need to race over to the left side. I don't see myself being able to... Yeah, we can't get in front of it if I go to the left. So we have to go to the right. So I need both this pit and that pit shut. And what did that op what did that do on this side? Okay, it shut a teleporter. Where does this teleporter lead me? Nowhere. But it takes the bullet away from me. Really? Huh. I'm not used to that. No, I'm used to throwing bullets in and, and they work just like a brick or something would. So that sends that this way. Oh, Tim, that was a that was a teleporter. That wasn't quite what you wanted to step in. That moves me over here. I don't understand this puzzle at all. Not even a tiny bit. So that shuts that teleporter, opens this door, that shuts both of those pits. Oh! Okay, I think I understand. Or not. Okay, can the one... Can the one burst dis, uh, dispel the other burst? Uh, I don't think so, Tim. I am... I might be mistiming it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go with no. So I'm really confused, everyone. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. So I'll be back. I'm going to uh, be off screen for a bit. Uh, interesting. Only a few seconds have passed. I found two bullets here. I suspect that the teleporter, this one, isn't working. Because of those barrels in the way. Yes. So that will let me teleport, but how do I get? I still have to get in front of. This. Oh! Uh. I think, Tim, that's. This teleporter. Okay, so here we go. Oh, should have moved forward.
Okay, I, I got it. I think at least. Oh, uh, nope. Not, not if I hesitate for half a second. Sorry, the the instinct in me to avoid a pit is, is taking over. You better hurry. I think you, you messed it up. You have to get into that door. Okay, that did it. It's still open. But now you have a pit in the way. Well, that's fine. We can just walk around it. Now, what does this one do? I don't understand this. What does that do? That makes me think that there must be a way to open this. There must be a way to open that door. Because that is looking for another receptor. So where is the button to do that? Yeah, we can hear wind. That's an interesting uh, tip, I suppose. So there must be a way to open this. Well, there, there is, maybe, Tim, but it doesn't have to be in this room. Careful of the pits, Tim, as well. They're behind you or around you. So, why don't I cut the recording now, everyone? I'm gonna look for a secret in this room. I'll be back if I found it, or if I don't. Ah, 20 minutes and I can't find it. I know there's a way to open that wall, but I have no clue how to do it. Let's move on. I can come here and look up uh, off screen as much as I want, I suppose. I mean, well, that, that's what I'm doing, but I would like to still continue to record this episode. Unless it's, like, right here. Oh, nothing. Oh. Well, we, we move on. That secret can remain a secret at the moment. Oh, or it can't. <laughs> or it can't. Uh... Oh no, this wall, maybe? You know, I didn't try attacking the wall. It didn't look unstable. How about that? <laughs> well, that would explain. I heard something open here. How about that? I never thought to attack the wall. So if we hear the wind, it's a hint that we should destroy the wall. I guess. Afflux headgear. Unique head armor. Restores a portion of damage taken as energy. Uh, restores 50% damage taken, 35 energy, plus 3 tech. Forceful impacts cause this helm to capture residual energy from the surroundings. That is perfect for us. We get an energy upgrade and another energy cell. While I'm here, I might as well look for secrets. So the only hint that wall could be destroyed was the sound of the wind.
That was it, Tim. This is the odd sleeping quarters. Is this someone's room? I mean, it must be, right? Groundbreaking initial leaps forward, exciting observations and discoveries, things have slowed down to a crawl. Progress is a rare commodity here nowadays. At every step, the bureaucracy just keeps getting in the way. At first, while we still knew next to nothing, we were free to experiment without much hassle. And now, the Supreme Bureau is to analyze all our findings and approve any plans for further research. Every little detail has to be catalogued, documented, and sent out. Forget progress above all. It's waiting above all now. Mark is used to oppose this kind of outside control, but it has slowly crept in anyway, and everybody just obeys like puppies. But isn't it what the Supreme Bureau has always taught us? To be bold, ardent, and determined to find a breakthrough. To constantly seek out the path to progress, no matter the difficulties, no matter the risks. I see the path to it. It's paved by the beautiful blue substance. So, do we want to give the Bureau what it wants, or what it really needs? I choose the latter, and I'm going to convince my team to tag along. Hey, well, we found another secret, and it just occurred in the search... For a, se a secret in this secret on this wall. Let's do that really quick. No, I see nothing. Okay, let's reactivate this. Get those generators going. All right, that that one was a much easier one to find. <laughs> they walking around for 20 minutes for a secret that didn't even exist on the walls, yet knowing there was something there. How about that? All right, so we picked up a repair power upgrade and a critical damage modifier upgrade. We also have found Splitter. Deals damage in a cone. Full damage at close range, reduce damage further away, and it is a pistol with a three-tile range. So not uh, not for us. We're not interested in this pistol. The, the only reason I'm even, I have the rifle is because it's range four, and requires bullets instead of energy to fire. Oh, I probably should take, you should keep this anyway, Tim. We probably want to drop these uh, in a storage container. Right, that's two secrets already, Tim. Not bad. Oh, how many are on this floor, by the way? I didn't even think to check. Three. Okay, one more. It's like someone was right busy writing notes. Probably a complaint or an ask institute for a promotion. We'll leave that open. There's a submarine again. We've reopened a shortcut back to it. A rusty key. Another energy weapon. Advanced Fumium Gun. 55 energy. So this serves our purposes, which is we just want a f an energy gun in case we have to fire an energy bolt at long range to hit a target. We have another note. And I don't think I'm going to keep that upgrade. Let's see where this door takes us. This feels familiar. It should be. Okay, we've been here before. And this is not powered. I guess we get whatever key this requires, the silver key. 
we'll have turned back on the power or whatever is required to open that door. Okay, well, let's go ahead and use the rusty key. Uh-oh, that wasn't me who saved it. Tim, 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 you're about to get pinned. You got to stand in front of it, because otherwise I'm going to get, yep, I'm going to get kicked and hit from behind. I'm going to use one of our health kits. Seventeen health kits remaining, by the way. So I don't know what to say. That sucked. <laughs> Again, I should. I'm. My issue is I'm a little too cautious. I need to be advancing up sometimes instead of trying to run away. We don't have a golden key. We're not getting in that. Holy crap, I forgot all about these. I don't even know what purpose these things serve. Enemies <laughs> and death traps. Why would you put one of them inside your Arx Vaporium? I have no clue why you would ever make a, a moving, turning, twisting pillar filled with spikes whose only purpose seems to be to shred whomever walks into it to death. Okay. Well, I guess we'll try to navigate around the Pillar of Doom. We do want that treasure chest, which we'll search once this thing starts smooshing whatever was in front of it to death. Whatever's in here, we're putting it into our pockets. What do we get? A musketeer rifle. Uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't take this instead of the old one. We'll search that wall for secrets as well. Nothing. Okay. And we found a brick in there as well, which we don't really need, because we can use single bullets as bricks. I feel like this is this should be more difficult than it appears. We've got three crates and three pits. I'm assuming we push each crate into a single pit. Now how do I do that? Hmm. 
What will this let you do, though, Tim? You can't... You can't push anything here. Is there another... crate? I don't see how you... No, there can't be. Okay. Pressing that opens the door, but it also opens the pit. That shuts both. How can I... Hmm. Is there a secret in this room? Or is another button I'm missing that opens some other passage to, to let me through this? We'll look really quick together on screen, everyone, before I, I... That's suspicious, but that's nothing. Yeah, that shuts both. Oh, that's not what you're supposed to do, Tim. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. All right, let's... Let's at least move you away from that button. There's nothing on the other side of this, right? There is not. No pressure plate. All right, well, let's move on then. I can look to do this off-screen. Oh! Or we could find something that we might be able to use. I didn't think we'd actually have to try to, to push it. I didn't think it would be something we had to worry about using it on the, uh, the spinning death machine, though. Oh, okay, and I can't... Actually, this can't be pulled in that direction. Hmm. If I'm trying to make it into that hallway or this one... To get around, let's see what's down this way. 
A note, scary drones, and a toughness fuse. For slightly more integrity. Hello. That did something. I saw the button. Oh no, I'm I'm wrong. There is a button. Okay, so now I want to get into this into onto that spot. So I think what I want to do is push this. Pull you. Pull you. Go around and, and push those two towards the other wall. Um, I mean, pull that back. I'm amazed at how many different puzzles people can come up with <laughs> based upon moving giant blocks. Okay, at least we don't have to now move the blocks around again to get to the storage. I need something to cut through it. Oh, darn it. Okay, so we have another seal. All right, well, the good news is it's prepped for when we find one of those, whatever it is that we need. Hold on, was there something we could look at? There is, there's a chest there. Oh no, I'm sorry, no, there is no chest. That's, that's the... I'm sorry, I thought that was a chest. No, it's not. I see nothing we can shoot in this direction, but maybe I'm not looking well enough. Maybe there's a switch I can throw something on here. No. No. No, there is not. Okay, so let me think about this puzzle for a little bit, everyone. I'll be back. I think I might have figured it out, everyone. I think I need to stand here and throw something onto that pressure plate. Which shuts the pit and stops these from shutting because I am standing in the door. Okay. That was not so hard in the end. I kept staring at it like there must, there has to be a way to get into this, into this room. And I couldn't figure out how to do it with the, with the block until I pushed the block over the pressure plate and stood back here. I was like, well, maybe the pit's not real. Maybe if I throw something into the pit and then it occurred to me, oh, I think I, I know how to do this. Started recording and sure enough, we did it. And apparently that was a required thing we had to do. Disaster. And an assault shotgun. Oh, I want to search that. Can I... But I can't reach... I can't reach it. Harlan Stag. Just hearing the name makes my stomach churn. I've dealt with all sorts of dabblers and inepts, but this 
kid is something else. A walking definition of arrogance. He only does the minimum of minimum to barely get the job done, while being smiles and glares all along. I can't stand this approach to work in anybody, much less in someone who actually believes they're doing great. To top that off, he thinks he's charming. <laughs> Ugly moron! His uncle, Danton, is a man of high stature, so the kid thinks he can get away with just about anything. How misguided can one get? Danton has no power here. I decide what's what. The ugly mess Harlan caused around the forge was the last drop. I'll give him two options. Either volunteer in the teleportation tests, or spend the rest of his service time here in the arcs as a fumium miner. A pretty despised and dangerous job, I hear. <laughs> How would that reflect in your uncle's eyes, poor Harlan? Nephew to a prominent Supreme Bureau member, high hope and the surefire future receiver of multiple national appraisals and awards, was in fact a huge disappointment. Instead of leading society to bright tomorrows, he could only manage to do the lowest and dirtiest of all jobs available. <laughs> Somehow, I already know what his choice is going to be. These two people absolutely loathe each other. Oof. So we learned a lot about Miss Laura Riker in the first game. And uh, spoilers, spoilers. Here we go. All right, so she was the final boss for it. And uh, I really enjoyed listening to her recordings in particular because it was fascinating that we could hear her attitude change as we picked up more and more of these recordings <coughs> and her disposition how it would be altered the more she worked with Fumium the more egotistical she she became as well I really like that very rarely do we hear the motivations of the enemy if that enemy isn't uh, how should I describe it monologuing too much and I thought the recordings were a nice way to introduce something new in that regard so whatever this powers does not yet get powered ah <laughs> <laughs> Did we find another key? We gotta find another key. So we went all that way for this. But I can't I can't turn that on, whatever this is. So let's leave a note. Okay, well so much for that. Let's think here. So where have we not been yet? We didn't find any keys. This way is still a dead end. So we were supposed to go this way, I guess, but we don't have a we don't have a way to get through that door. I think I might be stuck and or lost unless there was something else I missed in a different area. Let's see, we didn't find a ingot ingot. Been everywhere down in that section. We didn't get another key. I guess we can see maybe something else turned on, though I don't know why or how it would have. That brings us right back to the sub area. Okay, so I guess what I'll do, everyone, is I'll stop here. I spent a lot of. I played the game for easily almost two hours. There's been so much. Cutting of the game to look at, to look around the room for secrets and stuff like that. So uh, this might be a, end up being a short one on the recording side of what I upload, but I'm also stuck, so I need to walk around and think about where it was, where it is I need to be. So we'll stop here and we'll go ahead and read these notes, and we'll also because maybe when we when these is a hint, this is what I'm supposed to do, 
And then we'll go ahead and read about the spitter creatures that we've... Uh, the uh, acid spider and that one zombie that we encountered. Monster. I found them. At least I think those bodies belong to my people. A terrible sight. Flesh eaten through by some form of aggressive acid. I thought maybe a loose roach could have done that. I was wrong. It was much worse. A twisted, contorted, hideous thing dragging its deformed feet behind itself. Slow, but determined to end my life. Cornered just inches away, I was certain the acid it spew would burn through my legs like a hot knife through butter. But then, all of a sudden, the ground shook. A golem. Its flames fried the monster alive. I don't know if the golems are still intact, protecting people from the horrors, or if it simply didn't see me amid the corpses. I wasn't going to wait to find out. I slipped right past the hulk into another section of shafts. I'll just wait here. There's no one else. There's nowhere else to go. Rita Catley, hydroponic supervisor. Rescue coming. I remember a jolt that shook me to the core, my ears feeling like they were about to burst. And then this bright white light. I woke up here, in the elevator. I think Alice and I were on our way up to the office for the meeting, but then something happened. I can't feel my legs. My back hurts so bad I'm losing my mind. All this blood. Is it mine or Alice's? I can hear a faint moaning from below. I think it's her. She must have fallen off the elevator, down into the shaft. A god-awful amount of time passed without any signs of rescue coming. But I can finally hear clanging and welding in the distance. It must be the guys trying to get through to help us. What a relief. Victor Baskerfield, maintenance unit. Oh, I somehow doubt that was probably the case. Apprentice. I have a new apprentice here in the foundry. Came in today. They're saying he's a son of someone important back from the islands. Well, I don't care for that. I only care for his expertise on alloys and a good work ethic. It's usually a pain to get a young kid like him up to speed. From my experience, it's just better if I do all the work rather than delegate some of it to a youngster who's lucky to mess it all up. Kids these days. So unreliable and lazy. But I'm going to give him a chance. Let's see if he's as flexible as a steel under my old hands. Brett Lindman, Metallurgist. Scary drones. I brought some more welding tools to the workshop today. As the little drones weren't enough for all the welding jobs, at this rate soon there'll be more of them than us. And, well... They scare me sometimes. How do they move? How do they even make decisions? Is there anybody home behind the cold blank metal plating? I'm sure old Runcraft has it all under control, but when I watch the drones work, the precision with which they fly around it just gives me the creeps. Adam Cray, Warehouse Men. Disaster. Harlan is a disaster. If I could, I would just snap his feeble neck in half with my own two hands. I used to be so calm all the time, but the kid, this cocky slouch, he makes my blood boil within seconds. I had a system in place. Everything had its place and purpose. There were workflows and rules. He messed it all up. I can't find anything. I'm too old for this chaos he creates around me. And his expertise... Pfft, what expertise? A bunch of useless formulas from textbooks. I don't need that. Textbooks won't forge a fumium piston or a spider casing. I need a bright mind with ideas on how to proceed. Not this moron. I'm going to ask for a replacement. I just can't stand him being in my shop. Brett Lindman. Meteorologist. If I could spell that correctly. Alright, oh, we're not quite done. Let's go to our Arxpedia. And, oh wow, we're almost done with it, actually. Let's read about the... Uh... Spitter. The spitter is slow and clumsy, but its innards continuously leak out rancid fluids, leaving a trail of lethal acid in his wake. When threatened, he spews out a large pool of acid in front of him. Both these acidic effects deal elemental damage and heavily reduce your ability to regain integrity. Kill him quickly, before he can contaminate too much space around you, hindering your options of escape. Resistant to acid. Spitters are the result of recent experiments on bringing dead biomass back to life using corpses at an advanced stage of decay. And how about the acid spider? 
That's the spider replaces the electrical discharge of its cousin, the shock spider, with the release of an acid pool around itself, eating through anything that gets caught up in it for continuous elemental damage. Never stand and fight in the pool. Not only does it do a lot of damage over time, it also heavily reduces your ability to regain integrity. So when you get caught up in the acid, be sure to delay using repair kits, as they will be far less effective. Resistant to acid. Acid spiders are most often used for heavy-duty cleaning and pest control jobs around the tower. Alright everyone, that'll do it. Finally do it for us. Thank you guys for watching. We come back, we will... I will figure it out where I'm supposed to go. And we will be there. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Uh, hello, everyone. Really quick, actually, before I sign out completely, I just realized that the Arxpedia in the main menu contains paragraphs upon paragraphs of information about each individual thing we are encountering here in the Arxforum. So I will... I am thinking of dedicating an entire video or two or three to just them. So I will make a new playlist for just the lore of everything here in Arx Vaporum. This way you guys have a chance to listen to that while you're doing whatever gaming you are doing. So uh, I will put that together soonish. <laughs> and I will slowly get videos uploaded to that as well. All right, now, now I'm signing off. Thank you guys again, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.